so still still Sunday, but I kind of wanted to apologize because I held my material directly to my mic, so you guys are going to have some audio fun, but I am now laying out my pattern, and I am shortening my sleeve because my chemise does not need to have long sleeves. I hate sleeves, and this is going to be an undergarment that is probably going to end up underneath a whole bunch of other things that also have sleeves. So instead of making like super sleeves, I'm going to do little ones. So here it says we have, I'm going to turn you around. So here we have it and it says, sorry for the shaking. It says like lengthen or shorten here, right on the line here. Now, I don't like to cut my patterns apart, especially on sleeves, because they angle at the sides different, and it just isn't good for me. So what I do is I take tape, and I'm going to completely cover this line here, and then I'm going to decide how long I, or short. I'm probably going to go all the way to this edge, and just this is it. This is how long my sleeve is going to be. So... Um, I'm probably going to mark along this line as well with tape and then I'm going to fold them together and then they will be taped together but they won't be permanently taped because tape on tape you can cut apart whereas tape on tissue paper you can't. So that's what I'm up to. So it is 10 minutes to midnight on Sunday evening. I have cut out the sleeve patterns. I have modified the sleeve patterns because they were very, very loose and I really hate extra fabric in my sleeves. I cannot tell you how much I hate it. So I've removed that. I've taken out, I'd say about four, five inches or so of the pattern, I think. I think it's about four or five inches. And it's just so that, yeah, I have this kind of angle instead of a perfect straight line from this point here all the way down. Uh, instead, I've kind of angled it in so that I have the same fullness up at my shoulder uh, where it's going to attach to the dress. Sorry. Where it's going to attach to the dress and then... Um, be part technically of like the whole collar situation because this is just to go under other dresses so it is kind of off the shoulder or you can tighten it to be a little more on the shoulder etc uh so hopefully when i'm finished that these little modifications won't be too bad but that tightening in the shoulder we want to be able to leave loose enough to be able to slip off the shoulder as well as to come back up onto the shoulder so i've left the fabric at the top but not at the bottom <laughs> I hope that made sense. Uh, I am going to bed. I am tired. I will see you tomorrow. All right. So new day, new shirt, and a slightly little compromised muff thing for my microphone. I have managed to lose the little speakerphone thingy and uh, oops. So anyway, today is Monday. It is almost 6 p.m., so kind of in the middle of my day, technically, and uh, I will probably work until about 10 or so, and I have gotten the sleeves of my chemise to this point, where they need to attach to the shirt. So I've got my lace on them, I've got my elastic on them, and I've got this seam up the bottom sewn shut. So they are ready to be attached to the chemise, which I haven't cut yet. <laughs> uh, the sleeves I wanted to get because they just are the most daunting part of any part of any of my costumes and any of my clothing. I hate sleeves. So making sure they look good, right, and will actually be enjoyable, kind of important. So those are done. I got some work done. Ooh, I made, sorry. <laughs> I made some more weights, so all of my uh, weights are now uh, sewn up so that they're not loose pebbles everywhere. I just used those little flat fish rocks 
um, that you can get at the dollar store or whatever. And I just put them in little cotton scraps and sewed them up like a little envelope. See? And I have to say that this stitch, if I can get the zoomy thing to do any kind of zoom. Anyway, this stitch is my favorite stitch. It is the knit stitch on Bre my brother, which is like this back and forth straight and then a zigzag and it's really, really secure. And it does save me a little bit of time whenever I'm sealing up things that will fray. Uh, just because I like to have a zigzag and a straight stitch on things that will fray because it takes longer for them to break down. And that is my goal in life. It takes forever to break down, then it's good. All right. <clears throat> Unless it's plastic. Plastic is stupid. Anyway, I'm going to get back to some of this and I will let you know what I get done. Bye. All right. Hi there. It is still the same day. It is Monday. It is 1020 and I am done for this evening. I am so tired and I still have much to do, but I mean, I'm not working, so I should pace myself. I have finished most of my chemise. So it has its lace at the top and it has its lace at the sleeves and it's all connected and beautiful. And this is so soft and so comfortable. I can't wait to wear it under my corset and stuff. It's going to be great. Um, I just have some tucks down at the bottom and another layer of lace to go around the bottom. And then this chemise is done. Woohoo! <laughs> um, then I can move on to the bloomers. So that leaves me, today I didn't work on the D20 and I didn't work on my uh, family matter, but I did finish my chemise. I also posted a YouTube video today, so I've done two things. I also was on the phone for like half of today, so it's been productive. I have actually done the things and I feel very proud. Now, let's keep that momentum moving and we'll see you on Tuesday, maybe. Hello everybody, new day, new shirt. My microphone's in the other room, but I wanted to share with you, this is my lap cat. This is Nova. She likes to crawl into my lap whenever I'm hand sewing or sitting still or anything. <laughs> She's kind of our dog and she just loves to cuddle. And I have been sitting here diligently hand sewing my eyelets into my corset. As you can see, the first five are done there, and then the rest of the eye holes kinda, I'm sorry, baby, did you get smushed? I smack her in the face with this corset a lot, and amazingly, she just stays here. Like, look at this cat. She's so content to stay on my lap. <laughs> anyway, I did not get a lot done yesterday. Yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday. It is quarter to three in the afternoon, and I have been hand sewing since about noon. I've had a really bad headache, and I can see that the weather is playing fun games outside. It's kind of cloudy and sunshiny and back and forth things. So, of course, it's doing weird things. So, that's probably why I have such a headache. But it just means that I'll spend a little bit more time today hand sewing than anything else. Uh, it also means that I'm going to have to delay Cruella's video by a day as I haven't finished the live reveal. So, I do need to film that. And then I will be caught up. And then we will be releasing a new something soon. Me. <laughs> we as in me and my kiddos. And uh, that's about it for now. I'll let you know if there comes up anything and what I get done next. <laughs> Yay! Hello. New day, new shirt. Today is Friday the 8th of January. I haven't really gotten a ton done in the last couple of days. I have... Instead of doing my big projects, I've actually gotten a couple of these little weights done. And I have to admit, they're really helpful. They're just marbles or fish hooks. I think I have a bunch of the fish rocks ones. And now I have this collection of marbles from when I was forever young. And I just always keep a box of marbles. I actually keep two boxes of marbles and I move them from house to house. And now I know exactly where all my marbles are. They're in this room in bags. Uh, they make excellent paperweights for my pattern pieces, for keeping my fabric on my wonderful table, but I have to admit that this is really slippery, so some stuff just... Whew. So when I'm measuring and stuff, those are really helpful. Sorry for the shaking there. Um, 
what else did I get done? Not a lot, I have to admit. I got a couple more holes done on my corset eyes, or my eyelets, and I did... Nothing. Nothing on my big projects in the last couple of days. I had a headache on Wednesday, and... I have had an absolute ridiculous time yesterday, and yesterday I just devoted to chores. I wanted my house clean. So I got my dishes done. That's, that's what I got done yesterday. Uh, today, I guess we will try to get down to my D20. Um, I am trying to get the bias binding onto my D20 dice bag, and I will be probably working on my chemise and that's about it for today. That's the plan, is that I'm going to work on the D20 dice bag, and then I'm going to work on my chemise. Because I just have a couple of tucks left to do on the bottom hem, and a couple of pieces of lace, and I'm done the chemise. Sorry. Hey guys. So I am working on my chemise, and I will probably fast forward most of this video, because I just have a lot of ironing to do. I've done a bunch of pin tucks. I think that's what they're called, I think. Um, but basically they're just tucks of fabric. So I sewed a straight line one inch away from each of these seams and then I pinched them together and made a uh, quarter inch seams, give or take, uh, just the side of my foot. And I, I just made little folds and sewed them this way. I sewed this bottom one on backwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to line up my lace and be sturdy enough that my lace... Holds nicely, even though it itself is uh, kind of flimsy, but it's cute, and that's all that matters. <laughs> so I'm going to get to ironing, because ironing takes forever, but it makes everything look so nice, apparently. Although after this, this is probably the last time this particular chemise will get ironed in this way, because I will probably never iron it again. <laughs> Toss it in the dryer and fluff. I'm very against ironing, but for right now, I just want to set all of this so that my wet lace when I put it on is all straight, and then when I do put it in the dryer on fluff, it comes out right. <laughs> so, we'll get to that part, and I'm going to watch TV, so the rest of this is going to have a whole bunch of sound, so... So this is my full length mirror and this is my absolutely so much fun finished chemise and because I'm going to wear it against my skin, I wanted to test to make sure that it's going to be comfortable against my skin. My corset's actually going to go over this and so most of this probably won't be seen. It'll be, it'll be tightened and gone and gathered, but I probably will end up just tightening it in places. But it is done. I have my tucks on my hem and I have my cute little lace and all my lace matches and my sleeves are nice and they can go up so I can wear it in a style like this. I can tighten my neckline so that I can get a much smaller neckline. I can have it off one shoulder. I can do the whole thing. And I'm really proud. Like, I love this. It's so cute. And it's like just the right length. It's just below my knee. So that for me, that's kind of like the bare or the maximum, I would say, of an under shirt for my chemise. Uh, just because I would probably wear this with some of my shorter skirts. Uh, this would be underneath my corset, of course, and then I would be wearing my shorter skirts over them. And I think most of my skirts go to just my knee. So we'll see as we go. And I mean, look at how flowy it is. It's so nice. 
The sunshine, so much fun too. It's making it a little see-through. This is a very thin material, so it is actually quite comfortable. And I believe, um, I believe it's a rayon actually. I thought it was a polyester in the beginning, but I think it's actually a rayon. So it's kind of acts a little bit like silk and a little bit like cotton. And it's not bad. Moo Moo style. Mm. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get to the bloomers now, which are going to be fab tabulous, but it, those are, I think they're cut out. I think I did cut them out. So there we go. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Okay, guys. So I didn't say this when I was doing the chemise, but I have done every single part of all of this with this wild sunshine. All right, come here. Here's a darker spot. Here we go. So I have run a straight stitch around the beginning of my bloomers and it goes all the way around all the edges and I do this because this slippery stuff <laughs> moves a lot and like on this edge it's super not even and all of it's kind of threading well it'll just keep threading cottons linens rayons silks uh, a lot of things will just keep running and keep running and keep running and you'll have threads everywhere. So what I do is when I first cut it, usually, I've cut this a couple of days ago, but it's just been folded over on my table. And what I do is I run a straight stitch all the way around about about my, my foot thingy there, which is what, a quarter of an inch? Something like that, half an inch? No, it's a quarter, three eighths and less, quarter or something, whatever, who knows. So that's what I'm... I do to start. That way, after 15 times of unpinning it, or if I have to flip it this way or that way, I don't lose my original form of this so that I know which edge is which edge, which points are which points. It goes to the corners so that when I go to turn something, or when I go to make sure that I've got my corners, if my corners aren't perfect and they've threaded or whatever, I know that my stitching was originally part of a quarter inch from where the edge of the fabric was. So no matter where it threads to, I will know that this thread is my marker and it's a good marker. And then I will do all of my seaming like this. And it also helps when I go to hem this because this head, this seam I know is at least as fairly straight as I can possibly manage. So when I fold it over, come on. So when I fold it over, I fold it over and it's just like that. And I follow that edge and I follow that edge and then I roll it under and I can follow that edge again and poof, I've got a hidden seam that won't thread. I should have done that on the chemise sides because I am going to have tons of threading later, but that's my regrets. Anyway, I will see you when I get more done. Okie dokie. So it is still Friday. It is 7.31. And I have finished my chemise and my bloomers, which means I can check two things off my list today. I'm so very pleased with myself. I didn't actually realize that I would be done today this particular project, which is great. <clears throat> it puts me a little head on some other things and I can start to shift my focus onto a few things. It kind of just clears the mind, that success. It really does. So now I just have my number one and number two projects, which I have to kind of work on consistently um, back and forth because there's a lot of finagling and finger work and it really does uh, hurt my hands. So I have to be balancey and I have to do something uh, a little bit less hard on me. And then there is a lot of little stuff that I have to do for the house. Like I have to hem up some of our towels because they are definitely disintegrating. Um, because, I mean, that's what towels do once they get old. They break down. It's just the life of fabric. And, uh, well, I mean, you can make it last longer for a little while. And right now it's just easier to hem up the towels that we do have than get new ones. Because really, they're still fine. Um, so I guess I have to pick another project. And I don't know what I'm going to pick yet. Uh, I need, I kind of need a me project. And then two people, other people projects. That's how I kind of equalize it out. It's two for other people, one for me, and then the little things around the house. Then that one for me can kind of be switched for household stuff if I really need to. But usually I need at least one thing for me. I think that as a sewer, you make a lot of things for a lot of other people. You do a lot of mending. 
and I don't mind at all. I love to do mending and other things for people as long as I don't have to darn anything. I hate it. I won't do it. I refuse. Patches are my thing, okay? Patches. Uh, so, I mean, that's really, that's just the way it is. Sometimes you need something for you, and a lot of the time as sewers, we do things for other people, and we put ourselves aside, and I can't do that anymore. It doesn't really work for me. Um, it just, it doesn't keep me focused, and I need, I need a little focus, because if I don't have that focus, I'm not motivated, I'm not emotionally invested in doing my best and that's what I need so I have a, one project for me and then two for other people and some for the house at the moment and then during seasons of nonsense you have holidays and Christmas presents and whew, okay but I like it I will see you tomorrow I guess tomorrow we will be uploading so whew. All right, so here we are. In closing from last week, I have done a little bit of bias tape making and working on my D20. I have sewn up uh, almost everything on my family commission. And that's, I'm actually working on that right now. So that's what I'm doing today. It is Monday and it's just about 4.20. Oh, look at me. <laughs> Anyway, so I am just wrapping up from the week. I didn't get a lot done over the weekend, but I mean, that's my days off. I'm allowed to not do too, too much if I want to. I did finish hand sewing all of my eyelets on my corset, so that is actually finished. So I have these two pieces and all of my eyelets. You can see through the sun now. All of the eyelets have been hand sewn and hand done. Sadly, they were all done with a nylon thread and that has broken about seven of my hand needles so far. I think. I think it broke more than that. But that was seven yesterday and the day before that. So I've been through a few. Um, now that I've done that, I'm so glad I'm done. I need other things. And that is just going to get some trim on it. I'm going to hand stitch uh, some trim uh, in some sort of pattern. I don't know. I'm going to cover some of my rough edges. I'm going to cover up some of the paper that you can still see from when I pat when I paper pieced the pattern together. Um, yeah, I seamed a whole lot of paper into it, and if it was going through the wash a lot, it wouldn't be a problem, but it's not going to go through the wash, so I'm going to just cover them up, and then nobody will ever know but me, you, and the other people on the internet. Um, I have gotten... My chemise and my drawers, they are both finished. They're actually in the washing machine right now. So uh, I'm washing them and I'm going to be able to wear them with this corset as soon as I put some trim on it. Or I can wear it without. I can wear it without the trim if I want to. Because um, it is finished. It just needs fancy, fancy trim. And that's just decorative. And I have chosen another project. I am going to make myself this project. Um, this is Butterick 4790, but I got it in the wrong size, so I had to size it up, and it didn't quite fit, and I'm not very good at sizing patterns yet, so it's all kind of trial and error, and we will see if the pattern is, if, uh, maybe, 
I don't know. I've used some mock-up fabric and I've mocked it up so that I can at least try out the pattern. I'm going to try it out in some mock-up fabric that I've got. These cool Canadian geese, I love it. Um, and we'll see how it works. Because if it doesn't work, I mean, the apron could be a bajillion things that it needs to take in or fix or whatever. And then I'll have to do it again, but that's okay. I need to make two or three of these because I, I need clothes that I can sew in and feel comfortable and warm and are not my PJ pants. I mean, PJs are good, but I feel kind of weird. Like, I want out of my PJs at some point. I feel like I need clothes that I get into like I would be going to work. And that's what I'm making myself right now. So that's my goals uh, for this week. We'll work on some more of my first two projects. We'll work on that. We're gonna make up some little things and my sister has actually asked me to do something and it's on that list somewhere over there. I will have to do that and you guys will get caught up next week. I'll let you know how it's going. Today I will upload before 9 p.m. Uh, so if you're seeing this, I, have, I will be continuing this uh, trend. I will be uploading on Mondays uh, before 9 p.m. and uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, one of those three days will eventually become the day that I release my big news. So my big projects, my completion projects, when I walk you through things, or my lessons. Uh, those will be those days. I will see what I come up with. I haven't quite decided. If you want to see something specific, let me know. I will be reading all of my comments down below at all times. Uh, give me a like if you enjoyed this kind of video, if you enjoy these vlogs, and uh, let me know what you think. I am happy to hear from all of you other sewers. I am very thrilled to be on this journey on YouTube with you guys. So, see you later.